Hi, I'm John Marr, and today I'm going to show you how to use Google Analytics segments to break down your traffic into manageable and meaningful pieces. So when you first go into Google Analytics, you are sent to the Audience Overview section of Analytics. And here you can see a graph that shows you all of the traffic that, that is coming to your site. And in this case, we're looking at a one-month uh, period. And that traffic is, is uh, laid out on this graph by day. And then below it, I can see the chart that shows the number of sessions, the number of unique users, the number of page views, pages per session, the average session duration, and the bounce rate, and the percentage of new sessions for this traffic here. But by default, I'm looking at all sessions to the site. So what I'm looking at here is traffic that's coming from uh, search engines, traffic that's coming from re referrals or from paid ads that I'm running, uh, perhaps in Google or Bing. Yeah, I'm looking at desktop searches. I'm looking at uh, mobile traffic to my site, tablet traffic to my site. And so all of that is kind of mixed up together. Uh, so by using segments, I can segment out just a certain portion of that traffic. And that generally gives you a better idea of you know the type of traffic that you're getting to your site and it allows you to do more direct comparisons between uh, different segments as opposed to just looking at everything kind of all jumbled together. And what happens when you do that is that you generally see uh, some patterns that maybe you don't see when you're looking at all sessions. Uh, maybe you're having some problems with your website and the way that it looks in mobile. Well, by looking at just the mobile traffic or by comparing desktop sessions to mobile sessions, you might be able to see some differences in uh, the way that people are using your site. Maybe you have a, a much higher bounce rate on your mobile visits than you do uh, on your desktop visits. And that might be a, a, a sign that you have to take a look at your mobile website and do more optimization and, and more fixing of some usability things on your mobile site. So let's take a look at how that works. As I said before, by default, you're just looking at all sessions. I can add a segment by clicking the Add Segment button here. And then let's go down to the list and I'm going to select direct traffic and then scroll down and select organic traffic. Organic traffic is non-paid search traffic. Scroll down a little bit more and hit the apply button. And now you can see that it's color coded. So the blue line in the graph below is all sessions, all you know, one that's 100%. So all of the traffic to my site is coming from you know, all sessions. So that's, that's all of everything. Then direct traffic is the orange line. And you can see here a really handy percentage that tells me that overall for this time period, 24.09% of my traffic to the site of all sessions was direct traffic. People who just typed in uh, my URL uh, or you know, in some other way came directly to my site and didn't come through another website. And then the green bar in the graph is organic traffic. And I can see that 59.3% of my overall traffic came from organic. And organic, again, can be any search engine. It could be Google, it could be Bing or Yahoo. Uh, so all of that. You can dive into um, you know, each one of those individual search engines uh, in more depth, but right now I'm just looking at all organic uh, combined. And when I do that, it really can show me some interesting things. For example, I immediately notice that here on the 15th of the month, um, my direct traffic spiked up a little bit. Um, in fact, it, was, it went over the organic line. So I got more traffic on that day from direct traffic than I did from organic, which as you can see for the rest of the month is pretty unusual. And it had a lot to do with why the all, all sessions um, line is spiked up on that day. Um, you know, it looks like maybe about half of the traffic that I got for that day uh, came from direct traffic and that made a big difference in my overall traffic for, for that day. So, you know, by looking at that, I can, I can then look back and see so, well, what did I do on that day that caused that direct traffic to be up? Maybe I got in the news 
so a lot of people came to the site because they heard about um, my company or my website uh, because of being in the news. Uh, or maybe I did um, some uh, outreach or something that I, I wrote uh, got posted on social media and so a number of people heard about my website through social media and came to the site. Again, we're looking at direct traffic so that, that would have been somebody who would have had to have found out about my website but then gone and just typed in that address directly. Maybe I want to follow up on this and look at uh, a, a session that shows uh, traffic that came from uh, social media referrals and compare that to the direct traffic and see whether or not I see the same sort of spike in social media referral traffic on that same day. That could be the reason why my direct traffic was spiked up on that day. So that's the kind of interesting thing that you can find out when you're not just looking at that overall traffic line uh, and you're looking at more of those individual little segments. Let's try something else. I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to click on the arrow that's next to that particular segment and just click remove. So I'll remove those and then I am going to try to look at mobile t uh, traffic and tablet traffic. So I'm going to go in here. Again, I'm choosing that add a new segment. I'm going to check off mobile traffic and scroll down select tablet traffic and then hit apply and now you can see again the blue line is all sessions the orange line is mobile traffic which you can see was 10.86 percent of the overall traffic and then tablet traffic is the green line and that was 2.12 percent of my overall traffic it's a little bit hard to see uh, those lines because the scale of this graph is higher because of the all sessions. So I might in this case go ahead and remove all sessions and then that shows me a little bit of a, a better graph that I can read uh, comparing the mobile traffic and the tablet traffic. Or maybe what I really wanted was to compare all traffic to both the mobile and traffic tablet traffic combined. Uh, so if I want to do that there's actually a segment for that. Uh, by the way if I remove um, all of the segments by choosing delete segment at, at the top it defaults back to all sessions so I'm seeing all sessions again now and then I can click add segment and then I'm gonna choose mobile and tablet traffic so this uses all of the traffic that's in the device category of mobile or tablet and that might give me a better idea of what I'm looking for which is you know how much traffic am I getting that's coming from mobile and tablet uh, devices. Mobile being you know, smartphones and tablets uh, being you know, iPads and other kinds of tablets like that. So if those things combined are sort of both considered mobile in general uh, so that might be a more helpful thing to, to view. And I can see here that mobile and tablet traffic combined were just about 13 percent of my overall traffic. Uh, now this particular website is sort of a B2B uh, business website so a lot of the people who come to this website come from you know a work computer which is why the mobile and tablet traffic is on the lower side uh, if this was an e-commerce site for example I would expect that that mobile and tablet uh, traffic would be much much higher let's look at something else um, I'm going to look at uh, some custom segments so if I remove this again and I click add segment I can see that I I can create um, custom segments. If I go to new segment, this red button right here, it gives me uh, some options and I can create a new segment. I would make sure you look through the list of all of the uh, segments that are already created because there are a number of those that can be very helpful for you, but maybe you're trying to set up a specific thing that, that is, only has to do with your website and really wouldn't be exactly the same for every website and in that case setting up a custom uh, session a segment rather would be uh, really helpful so I might be looking for a particular age demographic or gender male or female that's just the demographics and then there's technology that has all of your your operating systems your browsers the devices that we talked about before uh, this is behavior so if you wanted to be looking at only people who have 
come to my website and it's been a certain number of days since the last time that they came uh, you can do that here if I only want to see people who have a, a, a session duration you know over two minutes and look and see what kind of um, you know how many visits I'm getting like that that can be really helpful uh, this is the date of the first session traffic sources uh, you can look at just people who came from a certain campaign or you know just from uh, Google or just from Bing uh, people who came with a certain keyword etc and then here under conditions I can have a lot of different things that you you'll recognize a lot of these from over on the left side of Google Analytics so I can do uh, any number of different things that have to do with behavior uh, e-commerce tracking um, types of again types of, of users behavior uh, people who who came um, who had uh, goal conversions maybe of certain goals you know that I have set up and I only want to look at the traffic that that uh, had a goal conversion with a certain goal that I've created uh, let me show you a couple that that I've created here in this particular um, site if I go back again to add segment I'm gonna discard my changes here I can go to the custom I've set up a segment here that is uh, blog pages and I'll show you what this looks like if I go into edit this is a condition and I've chosen that I want to look at the page and the page contains slash blog slash so what this is going to do is show me only the visits that uh, came to the um, blog section of my site uh, and I, I want to be able to compare that to my overall traffic so by doing that I'll go back up here again discard changes I'm going to go up here and go to custom and then choose blog pages scroll down click apply and now I can see that I have my overall sessions in blue and just the blog pages just visits you know uh, sessions that that also visited my blog uh, which is 29.96 percent of my visits overall my sessions and in looking at that I can see that that certainly the blog you know follows along with with the uh, all sessions in terms of you know so the blog is really helping to to drive a, a certain amount of traffic uh, to my site and then if I scroll down I can see that in fact visits to my site that included the blog were uh, on average two minutes and 45 seconds compared to my overall average duration which is one minute and 59 seconds so people who came to my blog tended to stay about 46 seconds longer than if they did not visit the blog so you know that can be kudos for me uh, that you know when people make it to the blog they're more engaged uh, and that's great uh, or I can look at that and say Hmm, well, maybe I need to do a little bit of work on my regular website pages to make them more engaging for my users. So that's the kind of information that you can gather um, by looking at Google Analytics segments. I hope that this was helpful, and if you need any more information, definitely comment on the blog, and thanks for listening.